Hi. Today the video I'm doing is actually in reply to a comment I got on one of my videos quite recently. Uh, for some reason I wasn't able to make a direct comment back to the person that had made the comment. No idea why, some special quirk of, of YouTube, I don't know. But anyway, I've had various similar questions to this, so I thought I would, uh, I'd make a video on it. Now the actual question that I got was, when I do 86 plus 96 divided by 2, it comes up as 134. Now, to give a bit of context, the actual question that they were talking about was this question 14, and it's from Sitting Gill's Sample Paper 2, Level 2, and it was in the Calculator section. Now, essentially, what you were trying to do was work out the median of these numbers here, and so you line them all out. Let's do this. So if we put them all in order, smallest 60, oh no, smallest is 48, then 67, then what have we got? 78, then we've got 86, then 96, then 98, 101, 102. So I'm doing this fast just so you can see to where we get to this this question he was asking. So now we cross off the smallest and the largest, keep repeating until, in this case, we're left with two numbers. Okay, so we've got the 86 and the 96. So when you're working out the median, you've got two numbers uh, left in the middle, then quite rightly, what you're trying to do is add them together and divide by two. Now, the problem that we're getting here, and you're only gonna get this problem if two things are happening. The first of those needs to be that you are using a scientific calculator, like this one here. And the other problem is that you forget how to use your bid mass rules. So let's see, if we type this in directly, we get 86 plus 96 divided by two, then you do in fact get 134. However, this isn't what we want, because what the calculator is doing is it's saying, well, you've given me this whole sum, so I'm going to apply bid mass rules, so I'm going to say division comes before addition. So what it's doing is it's saying, so this is scientific. It's going to say you've got the division first, so it's saying 96 divided by 2 is 48. And then... It's doing the 86. Now it's replacing the 96 divided by 2 by the 48, which when you add them together, gives you 134. But what we want to do is the addition first. Now the way around this, if we want to do it on the calculator, and we can go back into this, we actually need to put some brackets in there. So it's telling it, do the addition before the division. Now if we press equals, we get an answer of 91. Okay, so let's write that down here. So if we do uh, 86 plus 96, and then divide by two, we get 91, which is the correct answer. And it also looks a lot better because the reason for doing, adding up the two numbers, if I pull this down here, we were trying to find a number that was halfway between 86 and 96. So if we get a number that's less than 86 or more than 96, we know it's wrong. Our answer should be somewhere between these two numbers, which 91 is. Okay, so the problem there was using a scientific calculator. Now, we wouldn't have this problem at all if we used a simple calculator. Okay, because what would happen here... Okay, let's move it so we can see the question... If we do the 86 plus 96, now I tend to press the equals at the end just out of habit, but even if I just press divide, the calculator is saying I'm only a simple calculator, I can only do one thing at a time. So it's already added those two numbers together. So when I then put in the two to divide by two, it's gonna give me a 91, which again is what we want. Okay, so, uh, but I have seen a few people ask this question, and it's one of those problems that can happen when you're using a scientific calculator. I'm going to be trying to do some other videos on uh, simple and scientific calculators 
as well and the benefits of using each one for different exams so hopefully you'll find those useful do look out for them comment subscribe and hope to see you again soon thanks bye